Hey everyone, welcome back to another Godzilla Battling video, and today we're taking a look at the Notice of Balance adjustments for Season 17, coming to Godzilla Battle Line on September 30th, 2022. This video is going live on September 28th, so no update just yet when this video goes live on what the new character or characters will be. I suspect if there isn't an announcement late tonight, then it's either going to be in the morning tomorrow or in the night tomorrow. Listen, they could pull Lamoth or Leo and, if, and, and not let us know until the season starts but they've had a pretty good track record of letting us know at least 12 maybe five hours in advance before the uh before the updates go live so stick around on the channel either some point tomorrow or the next day i will have a video talking about everything you need to know about the new season now talking about stuff for the new season right what are we learning here with this balance update well this one does not have a lot of people i mean it has people happy but also, at the same time, it does. You'll see. Here's the balance adjustments, right? This is it. Destroyer aggregate form is getting a decrease to movement speed and a shortened evolution time. Awesome. Destroyer flying form is getting a shortened evolution time. Awesome. We'll have to wait and see what these times are because there's no way for me to be like, yeah, I think Destroyer is going to be bad, is going to be in the meta uh, next season because he's going to be guaranteed EVO. We don't know. You know, they can make Destroyer Flying Forms Evolution Time 25 seconds. You know, they can make it 20 seconds. Destroyer Aggregate, the decrease in movement speed definitely is much needed. Uh, and then the shortened evolution time as well. But I, I mean, you could have done one or the other. But I'm glad that they did both of these. But still, like, we, they don't give us the concrete numbers in the previews which is unfortunate because then i would be able to tell you oh this is going to make a big difference or not this at the very at the end of the day very much could not make any difference whatsoever and i know is especially the case with a lot of players that a lot of people didn't bother leveling up their destroyers because destroyer was bad it is kind of fast for him to get a buff especially considering that toho told us on the live stream that destroyer is a good unit we are all just bad at the game but um here we are, where the only character that they have buffed is Destroyer. There are literally no other nerfs. It is just going to be two buffs to the Destroyer pre-evolutions, and we don't have any concrete numbers here to determine if it's going to be good or not. I think for the aggregate form, it's good to have both a decreased movement speed and a shortened evolution time. And I do think for the flying form, it is good to have a shortened evolution time, considering that both of these guys you know, don't leave the field when they evolve, they stay on the field. But in the heat of battle, I don't think for the destroy flying form, this is going to matter too much. It, it, it's still good to have, though. We'll, we'll have to see how it performs in practice. I think I'll take a look at that uh, as soon as the season starts. Uh, probably in fixed battles or on a, the live stream we'll do. Obviously, we do a live stream the first night of the channel. of the First night of the channel. First night of the season. It's always a little live stream. So, I mean, we'll take a look at this. I am happy that Destroy is getting buffed. Uh, I will be happier or sadder determining on, you know, what the buffs actually end up being. But I'm also pretty upset that there is no other nerfs or buffs. Mothra Leo, Ultraman, Batra have been extremely oppressive over the last few seasons. Dimension Tide, Train Bombs also could be using a nerf. Who could use a buff? Shin Godzilla could use a buff. Uh, I feel like Mephilus needs a little touch-up. I feel like, you know, Naranga could be a little bit faster. Uh, there's, I mean, come on. There's a lot of things that they could have changed. There's a lot of buffs that they could have done. There's a lot of nerfs. There's a lot more nerfs that they could have done, right? Batra has been meta for almost an entire year. Literally, for almost an entire year, Batra has been pretty much the meta, which is insane. Uh, Leo, you know, just got a buff, so maybe they're not too keen on nerfing him immediately because, you know, he only recently got buffed, but he's just everywhere. It, it is so insane. And then Ultraman, I don't even know if Ultraman will ever receive any changes because Kong and G21 haven't received any changes, right? The limited units seem to just be like a one and done. I mean, Kong did admittedly have his walk speed wrong on his info sheet in the game so they changed that and then at one point in the game like the month after kong was added they increased his speed in water to quote reflect his activities at sea in the movie but no actual change to stats or anything like that for kong or g21 and i think maybe the same is going to be the case for ultraman and zaytama phylots and naranga if that I punch them like if that is the case 
Ultraman, get your Ultramans up because he's he'll be mad for a long freaking time, man. But what do you guys think about these balance updates? I really am liking the Destroya updates. Right on paper, these seem really good. Uh, but because there's no other significant nerfs to the meta, if these changes are not substantial in any meaningful capacity, then nothing is changing with the meta. Not that I think that the story would outright change the meta as it is because his stats aren't changing, just the amount that he evolves. And I, I, I think if you don't have a level 10 destroyer, you're not, it's not seeing a lot. I mean, at least in rank 65, like in Codem, right? It's not seeing a lot of play. But maybe your destroyers can see a lot more play in the lower ranks. This is all I got for you guys today. Let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you all so much for watching. I will catch you all on the next one. Bye-bye.